we've compared the 49ers payroll to their rivals. And we've shown you that really once the Niners move on from Jimmy, which is going to happen sooner than later, it's going to happen um, and relocate that, that cap space elsewhere. They're in the driver's seat. Um, Arizona has a good roster structure too, with a cheap young quarterback. Do you feel like the future of the NFC belongs to the 49ers or not? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna cop out, take a little cop Fair. out answer. I'm not trying to I'm set you say, up to be the, the right. heel right here. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna say that the future of the NFC belongs to them, but I think if you look at the current landscape and you say who's the best set up team over the next five six years, the Niners to me are in the driver's seat of that conversation. To me, yeah. Seattle, I, I like. I think Shane Waldron. I think their offense is going to look a lot better. Yeah, some pro style stuff for Russell yep. Wilson. Put him under center. A lot of bootleg stuff. I think it's going to look better. But I think, given Russ's age, given how their roster is structured, given the fact that a lot of their best players are on the older side outside of DK Metcalf, mm-hmm. and given the fact that to me they haven't been able to get over the hump for so long, I to me they have to do something drastic to get over. I have questions about their future. The Rams. They're going to be really good next couple of years. I firmly believe that. I believe yeah, I think so too. Stafford. I think so too. But yeah, I don't know what their long term play is. I don't see McVay and Stafford just running the NFC, given all the question marks and given Stafford's age. Uh, I yeah. think Kyler Murray is the best young quarterback in the NFC. I hate Arizona's GM Steve Keim. I think I don't think he's very good at what he does. And their coach Cliff Kingsbury. I don't even need to say anything about him because everybody else does the great job of ensuring that cliff kingsbury knows exactly what type of coach he is so to me but again the thing about kime is that when you have a cheap quarterback you can be bad you have you have leeway you can get things wrong you know what i'm saying yeah but 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 the point the point with um this conversation right because a conference usually belongs to a team with a coach and a quarterback it was brady belichick now it's mahomes reed right so like the rest of the roster is moot because it's going to be fluid everybody's roster is going to be fluid, right? The Niners roster in 2024 is not going to look anywhere close to the one today. Like a lot of these older veteran players that they brought back will all be gone and it'll be replaced by guys. They draft guys. They signed. It'll be a totally different roster. There's no doubt about it in my mind, but you look at coach and quarterback, right? I I just don't believe in Arizona's coach. So I can't say that. Then you go to the quarterbacks that were drafted this year, right? I'm a big Justin Fields fan. I don't believe in Matt Nagy at all. I don't believe in Chicago as a franchise Good in terms point. of what they can do as a quarterback. So they're out. going to be so, that guy who has like a new coach every year, man. It's going to be terrible for him. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? Yeah. There are people who have a lot of question marks about Justin Fields too, right? Like I'm I'm not just because I'm a fan of him, just because I wanted him to be the pick before the draft. I'm not. You saw that, you saw you that you report that from Fowler about the, the compact delivery with Lance. Well, boom, right there about Justin Fields. Right. Right there. Yeah. Right. Don't. So, so I, yeah. I thought Jose had a funny tweet because Kyle was a little uh, funny with when you asked him the question about the mechanics. We don't touch those things. We don't. That's for you to write about. We don't really Thanks. do those things. And then Fowler's here reporting that they've wanted to spend this entire offseason working on his mechanics. OK, good. That's interesting there. But <laughs> good. Yeah. But right. But but yeah. uh, you look at some fields. There's a question mark there. And then the rest of the quarterbacks are kind of aging veterans. Right. Like Kirk Cousins. Solid start. Don't see him running a conference. Mike Zimmer, Mike Zimmer and Kellen Mond, maybe. Grant, you putting your investment there? Yeah. I think Mike oh, Zimmer I mean, could be gone by then. It's wide open for Trey Lance and Kyle, right? Right. It's wide open. Right. It, it's right there because Kyle, Kyle's a coach that you feel the most comfortable with in this conference outside of maybe a McVay, outside of maybe a Sean Payton. McVay, his entire organization is not set up for the long term. Sean no. Payton, they're not set up for the long term either, cheaper. and they don't have Ray's a quarterback, the price. right? Yeah. And so yeah. they have it, right? Like Ron yeah. Rivera in Washington, they have this young defense, a lot of young, great core players. Who's their quarterback? Who's quarterback? Daniel Who's Jones quarterback? and Joe Judge. Like, who? I, I believe in Trey Lance right now more than I believe in Daniel Jones. Just I've seen Daniel Jones, and while I think Daniel Jones can be a top 20 starter in the NFL, I don't want a top 20 starter. Exactly. Quarterback to run. Yeah. I don't think he's running the conference. So they're they're out and so you just go down the list of the nfc teams you go to the nfc south right maybe carolina but like sam darnold matt rule i like carolina's roster do not love sam darnold i've been over this ad nauseum and i like no. matt rule but let's give him time let's see what What's happens interesting also though is if the cardinals get rid of cliff in a year because i'm with you i i don't know about cliff i don't know about his offense and what you said earlier about 
Russell Wilson being better suited under center could apply to Kyler too. Look at Russell Wilson. I just looked up his splits. Last year, he threw 440 passes from the gun. His rating was 101. He's great. He threw 118 passes from under center. His rating was 117. He should be throwing 50. I mean, it should be a more even split. I'm mean, come on. Yeah. Are you kidding? It, like, come on. Yeah. yeah. And it, this is, I was telling you this earlier on the phone. One of the things I learned from somebody who knows a lot about football and I talked to them and they taught, teach me a lot of things, but they were talking about both Russell Wilson and Kyler Murray. And they told me that he, this person told me he felt that they would both be better quarterbacks if they played in a pro style offense under the center because bootlegs and stuff with them as a quarterback, like all the things we talk about, Trey Lance, those things apply, especially if you're not in the gun, dropping them back and asking them to see the middle of the field, which both of them frankly can't because of their size. Great point. Like, so what you do people, is you get them on the perimeter, cut it in half, you get out. It's brilliant. Brilliant. Right. It makes brilliant. a lot more sense. And then the Way run game sense. becomes more yeah. intricate because you can do so much more with their run game. And then yeah. you can scheme up a lot more easy throws for them off play action where vision yeah. is a lot clearer, right? Like so what I'm trying Shanahan, to say is part of his offense picture, is that picture the Cardinals next year with like Mike McDaniel as their head coach. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. but the, I, I don't trust Steve Kime to hire a head coach, and I don't True. trust Bidwell to fire, fire Steve Kime. So, so I, it's the I, 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 Yeah, I'm a big Kyler fan. So, like, by default, get this right. when you look at it, right, because we, to, like, we, we're high on Trey Lance, right? We're, yes. we're, we're excited, but we, yes. unfortunately we haven't seen it, so it's, it's nope. a difficult thing to project. But yep. by default, but we're high on Kyle Shanahan, too. We know what he's capable of. We know how good he is with his offense. When you yes. go through all of it, the Niners, to me, they are by far that coach quarterback com com mm -hmm. combination that yeah. is in the best position to be the team that runs this conference. Arians Brady ain't sticking around. No. And we talk about like McVay Stafford. That's not like they had that. one of the shocking things to me was that they didn't extend Stafford and lower his cap hit this year. What, what they about, haven't touched his Peyton, contract yet. What about Peyton Taysom? Peyton Taysom Hill. No. Uh, the, the rest of their roster, though. Right. Like the yeah. Niners, I talked about how the roster is fluid and it'll be different in 2024 and it'll be better, different, younger players. They have the um, financial structure to be able to do that. New Orleans yeah. and the Rams have just pushed dealing with their finances a couple years down the road every year. And there's going to be an eventual time that they have that catches up with them. Yeah. Derek Taylor says a lot of comparison for Lance to Kaepernick. Cap's problem was he only had a bullet pass. True. Does Lance have touch or does he need to work on it? I think he does have touch. He's got a cannon and he has touch. I think he has more in common with Russell Wilson than Colin Kaepernick. I think he has touch too, but I also wish he sometimes threw with more touch. I think that's there too. I also thought Cap had touch. Like Cap had some pretty ridiculous throws that required great touch. Like the line drive with great touch he threw to Vernon Davis in one of the great playoff games I've seen a quarterback play. Colin Kaepernick versus the Packers over yeah. AJ Hawk. That's he true. He could throw with touch. I think the biggest difference with between these two guys is Lance is an exceptionally much more proficient uh, short thrower. He has a quicker yes. release and he has just more feel how to throw short. Kaepernick could just never line up the timing because of his release, and it was a difficult. It was difficult for him to throw accurately because of his slow release. And Lance doesn't. Lance has a quicker release, so I, I think that's the big difference between the two.